What's going on today guys? Welcome to Eddie Studios. Today I want to talk about using a flexible tripod and using it in different ways that you might not have thought of using a flexible tripod. So the first one obviously is going to be what I just showed you and that is using it as a shoulder mount. Now I do have a small rig side handle on my camera here. My camera is a flip out screen. It's the Sony ZV-E10. And so it has a flip out screen on it, which puts it right in front of my face when I do this, which makes it perfect for this setup. And yeah, I have my lens on it and I'm not actually shooting with this camera, but I could. So let's turn it on. So this makes it perfect for shooting with this setup. You can easily step on my step back here. You can easily just walk around support with your side handle here and you don't have to have a side handle with a flip out screen. You could use the flip out screen as partial support but it's definitely more professional and easier to use with a side handle, giving you a little extra support. This is one of my favorite ways to use my flexible tripod when I'm shooting stuff and using it as a stabilizer. Like this stabilizes your camera in such a great way. Now I wanna show you another awesome way to use a flexible tripod you might not have thought of. And then I wanna show you a little trick on just a way to use your flexible tripod in a way you have probably already thought of but that makes it easier to do so in that way. So stick around for that. Now guys, if that tip was helpful, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna give you a couple more tips here. And at the end, I will list my link to my video about this tripod here, which is the Ulanzi MT33 Octopus Tripod. I love this tripod and I've talked about it in several videos. So that video is specifically on it and why I think it's better than the Joby. But Jobys are good, they're okay. I've heard good and bad things about them and I've experienced good and bad things about them. So this one's my tripod, my flexible tripod of choice. Let me show you the other way. And to do so, we're gonna remove this because we're gonna act as though we don't have a side handle and that's sad. So we're gonna remove our side handle. Again, small rig side handle. For my small rig cage, if you guys don't have a small rig cage on your camera or some kind of cage on your camera, I do recommend looking for whatever one suits you best. I did like this small rig one and it pairs well with a lot of the small rig gear. So this one kind of twists off pretty easily and tightens on pretty easily and has the tool you need for it that just kind of magnetizes right into it. I will link my cage for my ZVE10 in the description below as well as this uh, side handle and other side handles the small rig offers. And I will link the flexible tripod that I'm using here as well as some Jobies if you wanna check those out as well because you can do the same stuff with either of them. So again, my favorite, I'll link it in a minute. The other way that's a great way to use your tripod that you may not have thought of yet is as a side handle. So what we're gonna do with this one here is I'm gonna loosen it up. Just gonna rotate her to the side here. I'm gonna tighten it back up. And I'm just gonna give it a twist. Here's your flexible tripod as your side handle. I'm gonna pull my screen out here. Now I have the stability of a side handle. Hold on, let me back out of this. I'm on something on my camera. I have the stability of a side handle without having to purchase any extra stuff. So I've got one $20 to $25 flexible tripod here. Acts as a side handle, acts as a shoulder mount, acts as a tripod and more. Like I love flexible tripods so much and they're not perfect for everything as of, of course, right now I'm using a regular tripod to shoot this to get me at height because if you're using a flexible tripod, you're not gonna be able to get to the height of your eye level if you're standing and walking around unless you put it on something or mount it to something. Leave me a comment below and tell me, have you used your flexible tripod like this? or with the shoulder mount, I'd like to hear. And if not, do you think it's a good choice? Because I do, and I've been using it like this lately, and it has been coming in so handy. I've been getting some super steady shots. The last thing I wanna show you guys, this just a little trick. We're gonna move my camera for this, because I'm gonna utilize um, one of these trees or my trampoline post. We'll see in a second what I use. But it's about how you wrap your tripod around something to utilize it that way. So sometimes when you wanna use the wrapping feature of your flexible tripod and wrap it around something to get it to hold, this way may or may not be your best way. Wrapping it in the general way that they kind of turn on your tripod. There's a 
better way on some occasions that I like to do it, and that is to almost like fight how your legs flip, flip out and go the opposite way from it. So right here, I'm like this. I can turn my camera by adjusting it, get it straight, straight-ish, and um, kind of make it so that it works for whatever I'm shooting. I could film you with it. That's great. Sometimes though, your, what you're mounting it to is gonna fight you a little bit. And one of my favorite things to do, and a thing that you might wanna try to do, is to go opposite with it. Meaning like bring the back one through, bring the front ones this way, and come this way because then you're adding a little bit of extra tension against the way the tripod naturally twists and it tends to just give it that much extra umph in keeping it stable. It also adds this gap here that pulls your camera slightly away from whatever you're mounting it to. So there's a couple of reasons why I like to do that. And if it's a really big uh, thing, like maybe a, a larger limb on a tree or something like that, you may not be able to do that because you would be winding up not having enough space to get it fully wrapped around it. Utilizing this like this, I, I hope that it helps you out. If it does, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this about budget videography stuff. And if using this guy is not budget videography, I don't know what is, 20, 25 bucks, depending on when you catch it on Amazon, check out my full video on it right there. And I'm going to go and try to make some more fun stuff for you guys to learn a little bit something about how to make better budget videography. I'll get more into my mobile videography stuff. So if you wanna see more about that, check out my playlist here on the best mobile video editor, Power Director. And I'll get back to you next week with another video, but you guys go shoot something awesome. Don't forget to post it. Peace out. See you next week with that other video.